Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the simple record navigation system using Java. First, let us show the demo first. Let's run the program. Here, this one should be the main part of the program. First, I am going to show the navigation record. So, click on the navigation button. It goes to the navigation form. Here, if you click this one, or this is, these are the record I am going to navigate. So, here, if you click uh, uh, previous here this one should be the previous this one next here it will be navigating the record right look like this there are only two records I have added now this one should be the first one if you click this one this, this one should be the last one right now I am going to go to add the new record so click on the add button here I am going to type the employee name as James salary I am going to enter as 20,000 and browse the image where your images reside on your computer so I am going to the employee here, right now let's get the image right here perfectly right now click save registration created click now exit now you go to the navigation now you now you can check the like this here it's perfectly fit on the screen right this one should be the first one is this one should be the last one right James right here it's perfectly this one should be working right these are the this is the simple navigation system i will be teaching how to do this one in step by step by step in java right now let's exit the program first what i'm going to do is here i'm going to the mysql database so here i'm going to type the localhost i have installed exam server if you are not installed exam server in your machine you must install the exam server uh, uh, I am connecting the backend part with the MySQL server database. So I have installed the exam server. Here, this is the dashboard of the exam server. Click PHP My Admin. Here, I am going to create the database. Right. So here, click New. Here, I am going to create the database as uh, EMP Navigation. I just name right EMP. Name. This is the database name I am going to create. Uh, inside the database I am going to create the table as records right only four columns right click go first one should be integer primary auto increment second one should be uh, em employee name so EMP name this one should be watcher five characters after that salary employee salary this one should be the int after that this one should be the photo photo you have to select the data type as here this one long block blog this one you have to type this one this is the data type you have to select right after that click save all right now your record has been uh, say uh, your record uh, table has been created successfully right now let's back to your project now I'm going to, I'm using the NetBeans ID to do the project so here file new project select Java Java application next if it is checked create main class you have to uncheck it here you have to give the project name as I just give the project name as uh, EMP now this is a project name I'm going to give. You can give any name, right? Now your project has been created successfully. You can see here, right? Another folders we have to files we have to close it, right? Right. This is your project, right? EMP name, right? So what I'm going to do is here. Your project folder consists of two folders. One is a source package. Another one is a libraries. First, what I'm going to do is here. I go to the Google. Here I am going to type Google. Here I am going to type as a uh, MySQL connector for Java. Right? This is a connector which we want to download in order to connect MySQL server and Java. So you have to download them. This is the site. Right? Now here come down. Here this one should be the you have to download file MySQL connector Java zip. Right? Click the uh, download button on the uh, right side you have to click the download button it goes to the another website for downloaded here you no need to log in or sign up you just click on this link no thanks just start my downloads right if you click 
your download has been started here i no need to download them i already downloaded i showed show that one so if you download the one it is reside on your computer look like this it's be it's like a, a zip folder it's downloaded as a zip folder after that you have to extract this one right click and extract this one if you extract that click extract that after that your folder become a normal folder it's look like this here this one look like this after that what we are going to do is here double click and open the file this is the two jar file you need to important into the library right so let's back to your project select the library folder right click add jar folder now here uh, here you have to import the uh, libraries where you uh, reside in your computer uh, f drive i have put put the my my sql connector this one go to the folder relevant folder and these two uh, files you have to select them hold on the control key down on the, your keyboard and you have to select them right now you have to click expand the library here it's all it's added successfully right after that what i'm going to do is here your library is important successfully now i'm going to go to the source package inside the source package there will be the default package right click new i'm going to create the new java package as emp new right like this right present the key right now your package has been created successfully new package inside the package i'm going to create the form right first form i'm going to create as this one should be the main right it's the main part so here let's you have to size it this one you have to get two buttons simply this one should be at employee I'm going to get another button from the palette. This one should be navigation. Navigation. All right. This is simple. Two buttons I have added. Now what I'm going to do is here. This one you have to name it as get the label from the palette and put here record navigation. right click properties font bold 24 right now you have to fit like this and here what i'm going to do is here arrange them right perfect right now this is the main panel now click on this one right click properties when when you uh, run this application it's running at the center on the screen for the code generated center you have to enable this text right now let's run the program you will be see it's run at the center right now if you click the button it goes to the add if you click this button it goes to the navigation right now i'm going to create the first one should be the employee inside employee right add the employee this one so go to the package this is the package emp nav right click new jfr info here i'm going to create as insert emp insert right i just create the form as employee otherwise you have to create like this employee only emp right simple now i'm going to create a simple form right first i'm going to go to the palette drag one palette uh, select one panel and drag on the form right now this one what i'm going to do is right click properties you have to change the border style as this one i just select this one right otherwise bevel border also soft bevel right i select this option click ok right it's perfect after that what i'm going to do is here drag the labels from the palette first one second third right first one select first label you have to name it as employee name this one should be the employee name second one should be salary third one should be image this one should be photo 
right right after that I have to drag the fields so here go to the palette drag the first one should be the text box text field we have to drag from the palette here this one second text field for the this one for the salary so here we need the label for the uh, photo right so this one should be the label so label you have to drag here right we have to size like this right perfect right. now here let's manage them right now i need one button for browse the image so let's arrange them I need one, one button for browse the image so let's go to the palette and drag one button this one we name it as browse browse after that we have to save and exit the form this one should be the save this button we have to name it as save you drag another button this one should be exit right click edit text you have to exit right perfect right perfect now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to change the, this one right change the name of the uh, text box this one right click edit text backspace to remove select this uh, text box change variable txt name click ok after the select this one right click edit text backspace to remove again select the text change variable txt cell right now this one select this picture label right click change variable i'm going to name it as a image label all right perfect right now what i'm going to do is here first i'm going to uh, write the code for the browse button right before insert the record we have to write the code for the browse button right so what i'm going to do is here I'm going to click on this button right click event action action perform here we have to write it first I'm going to write uh, J file chooser you have to write the create the object as picture choose choose equal new this one JP chooser and receive copy can be paste here here you have to import the class right after that what I'm going to do is here the object we have to call it here can receive copy can be paste here dot show dot show open dialog right now here we have to write as null after that what I'm going to do is here we have to write another one is a file picture equal this picture chooser picture choose dot get selected file right this how we have to select choose the file right so we have to import this one after that what i am going to do is here go here i am going to create the variable path equal null right now here we have to create the connection as well connection con try to import the connection after that we have to write the prepared statement pst this one java sql prepare statement after that we need uh, another one is a byte this one should be the image so byte use image equal null right like this right now what i'm going to do is here we have right here is 
path this path variable I have created above path equal picture dot um, picture dot get absolute path right after that we have to write a buffer image image create the object img equal image io dot read you have to write picture choose of this one picture choose control c to copy control v to paste here dot get selected file after that we have to write image icon here also you have to write image get image icon I see equal new the same thing image icon control see copy control wait paste here here we have to write new image icon here we write img this one img main this image img this img you have to pass it here you have to import the buffer class import the buffer class right what is the problem surrounded with the try and catch you are surrounded right error go away control x cut off and wait to paste here all right now here the img dot what's the problem Now here we have to import the things thing img icon now let's start right now it's getting right now you have to uh, choose as here as uh, get image get image dot get image dot get scale instance this one right this one we have to set the size you have to set the size as simply you have set the size as 50 right 50 width and height of the image right so here comma image scale comma image scale image scale scale default so what's the problem so, comma image image scale default default right that's the thing we have to write it's a problem right here the problem is here image dot scale scale default right that's a problem right it's perfect now it's working perfectly we have to work perfectly right right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to browse the image and put into the label which label this one here right so here we have right here is simply image icon this one should be the we have to name it as image label dot set icon this one image icon this one right it's right it's set it after that what i'm going to see we have to write a uh, file image file image equal new file this one should be the path file input stream if I s equal new file input stream you have to pass the image 
this image we gotta pass it here correct perfect now we have to import the import for this one we have to import the classes right now here after that you have to write byte the array output stream byte output stream you have to write b o s like create the object you have new control c to copy control v to paste here you have to write right now here we have to import the package classes now what's there a byte array output stream right this is a byte array output the output import the class All right so that's it after that what i'm going to do is here we have to write byte so write byte simply b create the object equal new byte I'll write a pass it for so, right that's the thing we have to write after that we have to write simple for loop and you have to import simply this is the only time we have to write int read int read num Look right. Read now. You have to write like this. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Equal fis dot read. Read. So you have to write bu double f. This one. After that, you have to write. Here you have to write. Equal minus one right that's the thing we have to write here we have to open and close right now here what's the problem the, the while loop right let's go away go away now what i'm going to do is here the same thing you have to get it here right so this one bos get it here dot right comma zero comma read now this one that's the only thing we have to write finally we have to call it this one we have to okay the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here right now this finally we have to the user image we, uh, we have created above this one control c to copy control v to paste here here equal bos this one the same thing dot byte to array dot two byte array that's the thing we have to this is very simple code we have to this very simple code we have to practice them it's very easy okay the very simple code right now let's this how we have to browse the image right now let's run the program and check it's successful fit on the screen if you browse the image so here click on this one properties we have to give the size of here as well prefer size we have to give simply right now let's make the link at the employee send for form this one should be without e employee emp e equal new emp right okay we have right dot set visible true right now let's check click on this one it's close here if you browse the image right scores right now let's go to the file em right this one right it's here it fit on the screen successfully right 
right this is perfect right now let's right now it's when the when the form is loaded it's loaded at the center click on this one right click properties code generate center close it right now i'm going to add the data into the database click on the save button right click event action action perform now here we have to write it first we have to write here is we have to create the variable first so what are the variables here to first one should be string uh, employee name emp name equal what's the text box we have to give txt name dot get text get text right here this text box name and this text box name we have to assign to these variables right second one control c to copy this one control v to paste here this one should be salary here also txt cell the third one should be uh, we have to write the third one file file image new file this one path path should be this one this path okay, this one we have created the path variable right that's one we have to put it here right after that what I'm going to do is here and uh, we have to write the file input stream file input stream fis equal new file input stream control it we control p to copy paste here we have to create a image this one right. the same thing that's the only thing we have to do after that we have to write the driver for insert the record so class for name here we have to write com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver right that's the thing we have to write okay mysql driver right now we select this one surrounded with the try and catch like this one we have to import the here also try and catch you out right key problem right we have to new file input stream image right now here what i'm going to do is here the same thing i'm going to control x to cut off control v to paste inside the drive right now the error is go away so error again is catch right now the error is go away right the same thing you have to do right now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to write the connection object we already created above equal driver manager manager dot get connection here we have to write write the database connection path so jdbc mysql localhost Okay, what is the name database name emp new right emp new right that's it now we have to write comma this one should be root username should be root password should be blank that's the thing we have to write here we have to import the catch right that's the thing we have to write after that we have to write the insert query pst equal con dot prepare statement okay we have to write insert it into which table you are going to insert the record records the table records so right here is what are the value what are the things we have to what are the uh, fields there emp name salary photo so you have write emp name comma salary comma photo to write values three question mark after that we have to write here pst dot set string one here we have to write as this one as a emp name first one same thing control c to copy control v to paste here second one should be 
salary control sheet copy control v to paste here third one should be control sheet copy control v to paste here this one should be you see uh, i use uh, this one should be how right use image use image right but here we have to what is the wrong here we have to set this one should be set by That's the thing we have to do right now here we have to set this one as a use image this one we have to go into add the image right after that what I'm going to do is here after that we have to call PST dot execute update execute update this one right okay perfect that's the thing we have to do after that we have to the option pan dot show message the option pan pan dot show message dialog here we have to write this here we have to write it record edit right that's the thing we have to do okay oh well, let's check whether it's working fine or not right okay I'm going to First, I'm going to write the employee name as Raja. Employee salary fifteen thousand. Image. We have to browse the image. Right. Click save. What's the error here? EMP now records. All right, right. The problem is here records the pro the uh, table name i wrote wrong records right r e c o records right here i have wrote records right that's a problem right now let's check raja 15000 browse the image save record added click ok right it's perfectly it's added now let's check on the database go to browse here it's added successfully right uh, record added successfully in my next class i am going to teach how to navigate the record right uh, thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching hi friends welcome to tutors funny channel in our last class we discuss about the record navigation part 1 tutorial add the records into the database in this class I am going to navigate the records so let's go to the project and select the package right click new uh, select the form I am going to create the new form as EMP new this is the form name right now click finish now your form has been created successfully now here I am going to go to the palette and drag one panel on the palette uh, form now here right click properties this one should be border I'm going to change the border size as same size this one soft bevel right border right perfect now let's do the toughest we have to drag the uh, label two labels same label, labels we have to drag this one should be employee na employee name this one should be salary this one should, should be image sorry photo we shall be put as a photo right this the two the three things right now we need a text field after that we need another label 
for this one for the photo right so it's perfect right now we need a navigation button so we right now here I need the now let's go to the palette and drag the button so here we let's now here we have dragged the buttons. Right, this one should be right. First button, second one, third one, right. I have dragged five buttons. First one should be this one should be the first one. That is the first one. This one should be the next. This one should be the previous. It takes previous. This one should be the last. Right. This one should be the exit button. Right. That's the one. Yeah, great. Right. Perfect. Now let's change the text box name. Edit text. You have to remove the existing text and change variable change the name as txt name this one should be select this one edit text backspace to remove them select the text box and change the name as txt cell right that's the thing we have to do right. this one should be right click change variable image label we name it as image label right that's the thing we have to do perfect now what i'm going to do is here i go to the main dot java i'm going to link them right click event action action for form here we have to write what's the name of this form emp now create the variable n equal new emp new now here we have to write n dot set visible right that's the thing we have to write now this one select this form right click properties code generate center right now first one what i'm going to do is here this one should be the connection so let's select the frame right click sorry for the source here first i'm going to write the connection for that right first we have to write the connection we no need to write again by again you go to the emp.java this page we already written the connection and everything so here the connection this thing we have created already we just copy this one. Control C to copy. Control V to paste in here. Right? We no need this one as well. By this one also no need that. Right. Now here what I'm going to do is I need a connection. So I have created the one class here. So public white. This one should be connection. Very simple. Here I am going to drag this one, the same connection, go to the uh, EMP Java page, the same this one, connection and this one, this uh, driver and connection you have to copy, right, we have to copy it, right, and paste into here, inside here, right, click OK, it show the error, it's not an error, it's important to try catch, this one also, cut off, control X to cut, Control V to paste inside the drive. Here also we have to import the catch. That's the thing we have to do. Now error go away. This is the database. Now here, after that, this connection, Control C to copy, Control V to paste after the initialization come model. Right? Why I paste here is when the form is loaded, this connection should be loaded. Right? Now what I'm going to do is here after that we have to write the uh, code. Right? So here we have moved another stuff is here. We have to write the code. Uh, RS result set object we didn't create it here. We have to create a result set object. Result set RS right. We import the class result set. Here we have result set object. Uh, result set object RS equal. We have to write uh, prepare statement dot execute query. Here we have to write the query. Select emp name comma salary comma photo we have to load from which table records the table 
right you have to write like this this simple one you have to write here right you have to load the things here is all the columns you have to load it right that's the thing we have to do after that what i am going to do is here this connection we have to paste it here let's go to the design first button this one if i click the uh, this one it goes to the first record so right click event action action perform here we have to write the code for that simply we have to write here uh, rs object dot first dot first we have to write rs uh, sorry this one should be a text box here txt uh, name dot set text we have to write as a rs dot get string just string one we have to import the try and catch right here is one control x cut off control v to paste here right second one should be control c to copy control v to paste here here is one one mean employee name two mean this three mean this so that first one should be one second one should be salary txt salary cell third one should be image so so here we have to how to image navigation is you have to write like this bob this one create the object equal rs1 rs object get block this one so you have write the what is your name uh, database name photo right here is photo now let's back to the net beans now here we have to import this one package now after that what i'm going to do is here we have to write a byte image byte we call this object control c to copy control v to paste here dot get byte one so we have to write the thing is here is uh, so write int this one dot length right that's the thing we have to write after that we have to write a image icon image icon we have to write image ic equal new image icon the right here is new image icon we have to pass this one. this byte this one. we have to pass it control seed copy control read paste right that's the we have to do after that we have to import the this class and after that dot dot get get image get image dot get scale instance the same thing you have right here is 50 uh, width and height the same thing right here after that comma you have to write image dot scale default scale default this one right that's the thing we have to write after that we have to write end the statement right same right that's the only thing now the image is display on where image label dot set icon set icon this one this one we have set here the same part. that's only thing we have to write okay now let's the same code i'm going to copy and paste it in here control c to copy the same code so paste it here right right click event action action perform the same code we have to paste it here right 
here only we need the changes this one should be the next only we need the changes only here here we have right here is first we have write, write the if condition if not dot not symbol not rs uh, dot if is first first if it's not first what happen is here uh, we have to write this one open and close here right now here we have to write this one not a first this one should be out right as a uh, rs dot previous previous right that's only thing we have to do right perfect right. the same thing i'm going to do the another stuff is a i'm going to do this button so here right click event action action so far this one we have to write here is the same code you have to copy and paste it control c to copy control v to paste here this one we have to change the only thing is if is last only. rs dot is last is last right here also not previous this one should be the next right that's the thing we have to write now here we have to change this one as icons this one should be the previous one this one should be the next problem right now it's perfect right now this last button this one we have to right click event action action perform here also what i am going to do the same code the this code we have to copy this one the first one this one rs first the same code you have to control c to copy control v to paste here this one we have to change it as a rs dot last right that's the only thing we have to do now let's check whether it's working fine or not now you have to make the click on this button what's the problem The problem is here. The problem is here. We have to write the prepare statement object. We have to write here. Now here we have to write as a statement object. Statement. Statement. S T A T equal to this one. We have to call it. This class we have to statement. Import the statement. Right. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Right. Now let's execute the code and check. navigation in the problem right the problem is here chalk right here the thing is a statement you call con dot con dot create statement okay we have to write as a result set the result set dot we have to write this one scroll sensitive this uh, sensitive this one after the same result set control c to copy control v to paste here dot the outer here, here we have to select as this one read only right that's the thing we have to write so now let's execute the korean check right it's working fine Right now here, if you click this one, you'll be able to see the record. Right, only one record I have added. Now I'm going to this button. I'm going to right click, event action action perform. This one should be. I'm going to this dot set is about false. Right. Now the same exit code. Control C to copy. Go to the employee Java. Here, exit. Right click. Event. Action. Action. Perform. Here, have to paste it here as well. Right. That's the thing we have to do. Now let's run the program and check. First, I'm going to add another record. This one should be John. Thirteen thousand. Rough image. Second one. To make it as this one. 
now let's save the record record added successfully now let's exit now i'm going to add another record uh, this one should be john 25000 salary browse change it as uh, emp let's click save record added now let's exit now let's test that click navigation click on this one now here the last record we added this is the first record now here you will be able to see the navigation here it's working perfectly here it's working perfectly right it's working here perfectly right this one will be the last this one will be the uh, previous now this one should be the next we'll be able to check right it's working perfectly right uh, i hope you guys you understood the video uh, well if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me uh, like me thank you for watching